when it comes to former U.S. President Donald Trump and his parenting mindset. It couldn't be more divisive. While some of his kids, like Eric Trump, have praised some of his parenting decisions, most have stayed quiet except for people on the internet who have called out his past problematic behavior. However, they say actions speak louder than words, and these resurfaced tidbits show nearly every single one of Donald's kids seemingly didn't agree with his major house rule. You may or may not have noticed this, but Donald doesn't have pets. He was one of only two U.S. presidents to not have any pets with him at the White House. He said per the Washington Post, You do love your dogs, don't you? I wouldn't mind having one, honestly, but I don't have any time. How would I look walking a dog on the White House lawn? And this was backed up when Ivana wrote in Raising Trump, family values from America's first mother that he wasn't a fan of dogs. Despite his no-pet policy, the list via MS and resurfaced that most of Donald's children seemingly don't agree. With it truly, everyone but Baron Trump, who remains extremely private about everything. For instance, Donald Trump Jr. gave his daughter a puppy for her birthday, per Fox News. And Ivanka Trump's family has at least two dogs in their Miami mansion. As for Eric and Laura Trump, they have three dogs. And Tiffany Trump has a rescue cat named Simba, her Daily Mail. Plus, Laura and Tiffany are big animal rescue advocates. So it seems nearly every Trump kid got a pet of their own as soon as they left Donald's home. Could Baron be next? Only time will tell. With the fallout of the Trump presidency, everyone involved in those four years seems to be rehabilitating their public image in the most obvious way, selling a book and spilling supposed secrets. Everyone was ready to talk, especially former White House Press Secretary Stephanie Grisham, the author of the Trump tell-all, it'll take your questions now. What I saw at the Trump White House gives readers a first account of what the Trump presidency was like behind closed doors. Grisham's claims and allegations are serious enough to consider picking up this book and, potentially, never putting it down.